Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. It's your host Arlette and we are here today with Miss Sarji Renell. Hey. Welcome girl. <laughs> Thank you. How you feeling? Lord have mercy. Where shall I start? <laughs> Where shall I start? I mean, yeah, go ahead. Start off by telling us about yourself. Okay. All that good stuff. So I am from South Africa. Okay. But I'm Congolese also. Yes. So I'm like a South African Congolese mix. Okay. And I work hard. Like the, I have two jobs. Okay. Oh. I be working 50 hours a week, the other one 60. So I'm just always like hustling yeah and i learned that from my parents mm -hmm. i seen them hustle grind so like that motivates me too i love that good mm -hmm. so you know we had you on episode one of possible <laughs> or mm -hmm. find love right and that video um more specifically the segment that included you mm -hmm. went everywhere just absolutely viral um how has it been dealing with that social media attention that you've been receiving so, right like, sure. for me i did okay so because the video was filmed like in december mm-hmm and then when we posted it, it was crazy. Yeah. And then it died down. I was like, okay, cool, whatever. <laughs> and then it was not even like, the part that went crazy was not even like my part. I was next to someone. And then I was like, okay, boom, they're not bothering me. Yeah. And then after two months later, the video went crazy again. Mm -hmm. And then I it, I think it was on TikTok first. And my friend started sh um, sending it to me. I was like, oh, okay. I didn't think it would go viral mm -hmm. because I didn't think what I said was mean. Oh, okay. Because, okay. I'm like, okay, the type of person I am, I feel like my friends, when they watch it, they're like, oh, this is just regular Sarah. This is how she speaks. Uh -huh. Even I, that's how I am. Uh -huh. But I feel like people who don't know me take it like shade. Mm. I'm just like, I grew up in an African household where we're very honest. Okay. We tell it like it is. Yeah. But it ain't what it is. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so for them to feel like I was being shade, I was like, that's not even the meanest thing I've ever said. Wow. Okay. If I always had cameras around me, I'll always be canceled. <laughs> <laughs> because I don't think it was that mean. And I feel like society is very sensitive. Mm -hmm. They don't like hearing the truth. Okay. And then it probably like the comments are like, oh, you're too confident. Mm -hmm. What's wrong with being confident? <laughs> why don't you like electricians? Why would I like them? Oh, okay. Like, no, so because, why don't you like them? Okay. You can start with that. I have a type. Okay. Right. And I like guys who are ambitious, mm -hmm. driven. Like for me, a guy that plays with lights, I don't see it as like, you know, you went to trade school. Okay. I, I like someone who went to like a 10 year college and everybody's like, oh, he's gonna have debt, but he will have a good job to pay for it. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? And you could have scholarships. Okay. You could have like loans. Like there's so many things. Cause I went to school for free. Okay. Cause I had a scholarship. Right. So there's different ways to get education. Mm -hmm. So for them to be like, oh, why wouldn't you date an electrician? Why do you want me to? <laughs> If you want to date them, then go ahead. But I have a preference. I want to be with a person who's sophisticated, okay. like a lawyer, a doctor, you know what I'm saying? I or see. a business owner or any, like, it could be- But even, you know, an electrician could be a business owner. He can own his own He could own that business over there. <laughs> I, I, I just I just don't see I just don't see myself hmm. and I feel like it's kind of confusing because everyone has a type okay this is what this certain things that I went through that made me okay this is what I want okay you know like I was not always like that because hmm. I was okay with being with the guy from like circle K but then it's different how they treat you because okay. men get intimidated by a woman who's confident mm. a woman who's goal driven so that's why i want to have someone who's already that so i wouldn't intimidate him I see. you see what i'm saying okay. so if i like because i'm trying to go back to school to be a doctor myself mm -hmm. so i feel like he will understand where i'm coming from mm -hmm. but a guy who's an electrician would not understand where i'm coming from and probably be intimidated in what way do you think they wouldn't understand? okay for example let's say like it just mindset mm -hmm. like money wise hmm. Like if a woman makes more, it's gonna be like, uh, you like let's say I work long hours, what were you doing? You're probably cheating. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but if he understands where I'm coming from, he would not ask me those stupid questions. Oh, wow. He would know, like, okay, she's working. Okay. You know, but a guy who's playing with lights is gonna be <laughs> different. I know. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I, I told her the comments. The comments are too <laughs> funny. Like they watch a one minute video and they think they know your whole life. Right, right. It was just, even they watch a whole hour of it. It's not like that's not the whole thing. It's just mm. not the whole me. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Like get to know me as a person. So have you ever dated a lawyer or a doctor or any of those? No, I haven't. Okay. But I went to school with them. Uh -huh. But I never. So that's what I was saying. After what I went through, I was like, you know what? I'm getting myself a doctor because I'd rather cry myself in a yacht than in Walmart. You know, I really, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'd rather 
be somewhere if let's because I feel like men are going to cheat. Mm. There's like there's a light, there's a chance, there's a higher chance that they're going to cheat. So if they do cheat, at least it's lavish. Does that make sense? <sighs> you know, okay, that's like, your opinion. Yeah, because the thing is, okay, if you find someone that truly loves you okay. in this generation, mm. you're lucky, you're blessed. Stick to them. Because it's where. Not like most people, like guys my age or guys a little younger, even in their 30s, mm -hmm. they don't really want a serious relationship. Oh, they want to okay. play around. Hmm. So that's why, it, since me knowing that, I'd rather find someone who's already like successful. Mm -hmm. And if they do, I'll be good. If they don't, I'm still good. You know what I'm saying? It's like a win win situation. I don't want to lose. <laughs> okay. So you're saying that. Your type is business, lawyers, all of that, but you have That's an example. Them. Okay. That's an example. But I like the thing is, I don't care what he does uh -huh. as long as it's not like a dangerous job like electricians. Okay. Cause like what if they get electrocuted or let's say FBI or a firefighter? Like those are dangerous like a policeman. Okay. Like I don't want to explain to my children why their father hasn't come home. Mm. You see what I'm saying? I see. So like, I like safer jobs mm -hmm. and they also pay good. Cause I want my children and people think in the comments, they think I have kids. I don't have kids. <laughs> like I was speaking in the future tense. Like if I do have kids, I want my kids to be able to go to college. I don't uh -huh. want them to like go through what I went through growing up. I want them to be satisfied. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I see. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then, so apart from you, like making that comment and a few others, mm -hmm. there were a lot of comments like, man, why does this girl keep rolling her eyes and shaking her head? Like what was going through your mind every time these guys came out and you were like, she's going you to see, town. Okay. Like, okay. <laughs> I'm tall. Uh -huh. Right. And I like guys who at least like five, 10, five, 11, six foot. Okay. Right. Cause when I'm wearing heels, I want us to look like proper. I don't want us to look like- how tall are you? I'm 5'6". Five, 5'6". Six. Five, six. So okay. I don't want to look like an improper fraction. You like, sure, I'm tall. It's not gonna, we're not gonna match. Okay. You know what I'm saying? That's why I want, like, I like wearing heels. Mm -hmm. I like going like dressing classy. He's wearing a suit, I'm wearing a dress. You know what I'm saying? So how is it gonna work if with, with me, without my heels, we're the same height. Mm. I don't want to look you and I want to like look up to you. There's something of a man who's like taller, mm -hmm. like he could protect you. Okay. And the guy who's short, like every time, okay, the, everybody was just kept on being shorter and shorter and shorter. <laughs> disappointment after disappointment. I was like, uh, another one, uh, another one. So that's just, kept, but like, they were always taller than you guys, even with your heels. No. Yeah. I, I think the camera was wrong. <laughs> I think the camera, no, like, he's, he, no, it will mm. not, no. Even, the thing is, also, I don't like dreads. There okay. was mad about that, too. Yeah, there I, was. Yeah. The tall guy, he did have dreads, the tallest one. Yeah, that's what there. I told him. And I'm like, e, because, I don't know. I don't like, I just never liked it. Okay. I don't know. I, I like braids. I like twists. But I don't like dreads because I like it's too permanent for me. Okay. I like when you could like okay you could take it out and you wash your hair is like because some guys don't know how to maintain it. Mm. If it was a guy that maintained it, like he he didn't maintain it that day. Okay. That's why I was like uh uh. But if you maintain it, you keep it fresh. Okay. I see. Like if I because men you wake up and go. Us <laughs> girls we take two hours. You can't take ten minutes. So that's why I can't. And then you also said something about dreads. If a girl's doing it, you're not having that. Like, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I, because the thing is, like, <sighs> what we learned, uh -huh. like, when I was working, men could even fuck the dead. Oh. So since they could even fuck the dead, like, they could even put ass on paper, they would smash it. So that's why I don't want my man having dreads and going to a woman's house to get his hair done. What if he goes to a salon? There's things that happen in a salon. Uh, I used to work in a salon too, and I've seen it okay. as a child. So I was like, I don't want that. Mm. So like, maybe if he goes to like a barber shop, mm -hmm. okay. But he goes to the salon, and then you know when a man gets a fresh cut, or like you know, like let's know. I mean, like let's get his twist done. Every ladies will see him and be like, mm. you know what I'm saying? <laughs> ladies will see him even if without without a fresh twist. No, mm -hmm. like there's something about like when you ha he has his, like he's put together uh -huh. and I'm not there. Okay, you see what I'm saying? Mm -mm. <laughs> <laughs> no. That's why I just like I can't do it. No, I can't do it. Mm -mm. Okay, all right. So you talked about you like to dress up and right. all of that and go out with your man. Um, so another thing that <laughs> there were a lot of comments on was the dress. Right. 
You see, I am delusional. Uh, so I came there wearing a white dress because I was I had hope. Okay. Right? I was like, I'm gonna wear my white dress. In my culture, we wear like a scarf. Okay. So I'm gonna wear my white dress, my white scarf. So if I do find somebody, oh my god, it's a match. They get it married right then and there, right? It was not a match. <laughs> Balloons were popped. At, like no match. I was like, as the show went on, I was just so angry, like, oh my goodness, I wear my white lucky dress to get married okay. and nothing. No. So that's your favorite you no, your it's just, white lucky dress? Or? Yeah, like, cause, no, in my delusion, I was thinking I'm going to get married that day. Okay. You see, that's all like, okay, let me get ready. Let me wear my white dress, my white scarf. And then if I do get married, I could cover myself up. Oh, and my then, God. Yeah. <laughs> I was ready for nothing. So, that, yeah, that's fine. <laughs> oh, my God. Mm -hmm. Okay. So now with some of the comments you've been getting, like, have you been receiving any positive or like, how oh, is that? You know, what's funny uh -huh. is they will comment something crazy yeah. and they'll inbox me and I'll reply. Oh my God. So babe, uh, like they will say something nice afterwards. I feel like they just say that to get my attention. Mm. Let me take you out. But you were saying I have donkey hair oh. and then you want to take me out. Make it make sense. Like the comments are so, they're like, oh my God, your eyes are so big. Oh my God, she has a small face, blah, blah. I'm like, the comments are ridiculous. Mm -hmm. And then I'll respond, you just want to get my attention. Mm. And the thing is, it was confusing. Why do you want me to like what you like? Mm -hmm. This is what I like. <laughs> <laughs> like freedom of speech you could like whatever you like you know i i have a certain type because mm -hmm. i have a certain lifestyle that i inspire to live yeah if you want to be a bum you could be a bum but i don't want to do that because okay. like i bet it's people on their phones talking you're not at work because mm. if you was like people who are really ambitious are not going to spend their time having something negative to say okay because your insecurities transpired in the comments. Mm. But people who are confident in themselves, oh my God, yeah, I understand where you're coming from because they're confident. Like, why would you be mad that I'm confident? <laughs> like, and then when a girl isn't, it's uh -huh. a problem too. Like, right. I feel like it doesn't really matter what I has said on social media, mm -hmm. people will still be mad. Mm. You could say purple, I like purple, why you like purple, why don't you like pink? Mm -hmm. Okay, I like pink, why you like pink now? <laughs> you see, like, it doesn't really matter. I could have said, I prefer electricians over doctors. Watch all the doctors be mad. Mm -hmm. So it really doesn't really matter what I have said. People are going to be mad. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. And now I know you said so far what you don't like, but what is your actual type? What do you like? Okay. First, he got to be tall. Okay. He got to be driven. Mm -hmm. He got to know how to communicate. I have a list. What about physical? Physical, physical aspect. Like I don't want bodybuilding. Oh, wait, would you mean, like, physically how he looks? Or... Yeah, because you said every time the guys came out, you were disappointed sure. and disappointed. Right. So I'm like, okay, we had a, a few different types of selections. I mean, yeah. and... No, you don't. Yeah. <laughs> but I feel like um, he got to be taller than me. Mm -hmm. And he doesn't have to be, like, too, like, like a bodybuilder. Okay. Like, even a dad bod is cute, cool. Maybe, like, yeah, even, like, two pack. Like, I don't want, like person who goes to the gym every day like you could be okay. fit you could be healthy mm. but the thing is what i could even, you could be tall but it's also about the mindset mm. i like guys who it's not about working hard it's about working smart mm. okay. i like because sometimes i have intelligent conversations and i want you to be, under, be able to understand where i'm coming from mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying like we could have those deep conversations so if you're not like there mm -hmm. we're not going to be there you see what i'm saying <laughs> okay all right so what were some of your takeaways from being a part of the show i didn't expect my part to go viral mm. like I, I didn't really think because i was this is how i talk mm -hmm. you know and then for it to go viral i was just like i was confused yeah and it was like uh, everybody watched it like my co-workers my siblings like are you okay <laughs> do you see the comments i'm like i'm good like, I, me and my friends were reading the comments, arguing with them, fight, and we just ex exhausted. We got exhausted. Yeah, yeah. It's just, after being on the show, it's just like, wow, mm -hmm. people are hilarious. <laughs> it's just like, sometimes when you're on social media, you just see what's posted, mm -hmm. but now you get to see being like the one posted and seeing how it could affect you. Right. You know, at first I was like, oh my God, I'm not like that. <laughs> but then I'm like, you know, I don't care. Think what you want to think. Mm -hmm. you, if you want to take like a one minute video, one hour video, and like, summarize be like that's how that person is mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying and then like it's better to get to know that person than just judging and right. people are going to judge you regardless exactly. and i really just don't care 
<laughs> All right. Well, do you have any upcoming projects? Anything we should be on the lookout for? Yes. From you? I'm also a content creator. Mm -hmm. So I'm so used to like interviewing people. Right. It's my first time being <laughs> interviewed. And like, I just, I have like, I work with different artists. I have a YouTube channel, Serge Ronell. Please mm -hmm. subscribe. Instagram, um, TikTok, yes. everything. I, I do it too. I'm a content creator as well. Okay, nice. Yeah. So we should just go on those pages and yes. we'll see all of any your, all yes. your projects and coming there's, up. There's different things I'm planning to do. So okay. be on the lookout. All right. Well, Thank we you. will. Thank, Thank you, you so much for coming on today. Thank Sorry. you. Thank you so much. <laughs> all right. Thanks everyone for tuning right. in.